Okay, folks, I got an album that I'm excited to bring you, and that is Alien Ant Farms Anthology. So with this project, they had a huge single off this, and it was called Smooth Criminal, which is a cover song of the Michael Jackson song. So this was heard everywhere, and it was a large impact. And really, the problem with it was, was Alien Ant Farm kind of did not match the single further down the road and this is one of their signature songs but this album is still good and I want to make that known and really it's it's a good thing to invest in this project so definitely take a look at it and we're, we're gonna go in so thing is there were three singles released from this but really one of them because it works so well it stole all the limelight and they just were not able to get the as big of songs but they did try so that's worth noting there are more on here that you can look for so the production this is handled well immediately go for smooth criminal it's very likely that you'll recognize it movies wish sticks and stones and whisper these are all some great ones to go for and these are some of the best produced ones now it kind of like most metal rap metal albums it decides to go in a in some varying directions there's a little bit of alternative metal on here in the songs attitude and death day and there's also a different type of metal that i wasn't positive on with flesh and bone in summer now, I did not like those songs, but it's worth noting that there was more than just rap metal, new metal, and plain metal. So there's more to there's there's more to the approach than that. And I think, as per usual, like with most of these projects, sequencing the the pe the fact that people got sick of rap metal wound up meaning that a lot of approaches to their future albums was kind of in limbo and this is definitely one of the groups that had problems with this struggled with this i guess we could say they did release subsequent albums but they did not get a hit as huge as smooth criminal so once again but it's worth noting that this album is pretty sick and it's got a lot of songs on it that have you know good attention so that leads me to the unheard songs or the songs that you need to listen to give a give a look at so out of 13 songs i liked seven or eight so the the eight songs are courage movies whisper sticks and stones stranded wish calico and smooth criminal a smooth criminal you should recognize that one you'll like it movies was another single it's pretty good you know obviously you know a lot of people are going to be able to tell the difference you know it's not as catchy but it's still good so it's good that they were able to not become one hit wonders i feel like uh wish sticks and stones and whisper or some of the metal songs that I really thoroughly enjoyed. I was wanting some more of those. It's basically like Limp Bizkit and Godsmack. You, you should feel right at home if you like those cats. And also, yeah, there was just more. So one of the ones I was kind of wondering about, but I, I'm going to say I like, was Stranded. This one was not extreme metal but it's still something that i wanted to adjust to so i'm kind of adjusting right now to alternative metal i'm not quite as sure what's going to wind up happening but i'm trying to welcome it further i really don't want to adjust because i don't care if you know point is is that there's more songs on this project and it's it's just like mud vein that i reviewed where it has to it's going through some growing pains, in other words. And it's up to you if, as to whether or not you want to mess with it. But just understand that I don't know if their future albums really in, you know, embrace new metal as much as this one did. But 
while it's here, there's definitely several songs worth checking out. All of these eight songs are fat. So, as far as me liking eight out of 13, it's going to get an eight out of 10. I'd give it an eight and a half, but I think that's really solid. And the future, Alien Ant Farm dropped an album last year, and before that, they hadn't dropped since 06. So, that's something to know. They, it feels like they're back. I don't know how the approach is going to go, but I'm going to look into more of them. And the the social score, which is how well it plays around a group, I'm going to give it a five and a half social. You and a group of friends, is what I meant. I'm going to give it a five and a half social because there is one big song, one mod, one medium song, and then from there you're having to explore on your own. So it's it's worth noting, but the big song is big, so you that's the one thing. So I don't want people thinking they're one hit wonders, but it's you know it's debatable. But uh, can it be topped? The main thing is yes, it can, but barely. This is still extremely good. You know, an eight that needs to be that's kind of underappreciated. So just understand that. Uh, yeah, so I give this album an 8 and a 5.5 and social. Check this group out more. They're definitely worthwhile. And I don't mean that they're one-hit wonders as far as, like, they suck or anything, because they definitely do not. Um, one more thing I wanted to say. I can't remember it, so. Alright, that's it. 8 and 5.5 and social. Oh yeah, these guys were friends of Papa Roach, so it's worth noting, if you like Papa Roach, these guys were affiliated with them. 